Hello, my name is Merin Anil. I am an art conservator at Art and Material Heritage Division of INTAC. Today, I would be discussing about the conservation and restoration of a polychrome wooden sculpture titled Ravana Nugraha, which came to us for conservation and restoration from the Prime Minister's office. Ravana Nugraha, the mythological story behind the sculpture is very interesting. But more interesting is this piece of art showing the brilliance of the artist narrating the saga of Ravana Nugraha through the medium of an inanimate piece in wood yet giving out the entire story to its audience. The story goes on as King Ravana defeated and looted Alka, the city of his stepbrother and god of wealth Kubera, situated near to Mount Kailash. After the victory, Ravana was returning to Lanka in Pushpak Viman when he spotted a beautiful place. However, the chariot could not fly over it. Ravana met Shiva's attendant Nandi at this place and asked the reason behind the chariot's inability to pass over the place. Nandi informed Ravana that Lord Shiva and Parvati were on the mountain and no one was allowed to pass. Ravana mocked Shiva and Nandi. Enraged by this insult, Nandi cursed Ravana. Infuriated, Ravana, by Nandi's curse and the inability to proceed further, put all his 20 arms under Kailash mountain and started lifting. As Kailash started shaking, Lord Shiva realized Ravana was behind this menace and pressed the mountain into its place with his big toe, trapping Ravana beneath it. Ravana was in pain. His ministers advised him to sing hymns in praise of Shiva for a thousand years. Legend narrates, imprisoned under Kailash, Ravana cut one of his head and built a veena from it. He used his tendons for the strings and sang praises of Lord Shiva. Pleased Shiva gave his blessings to Ravana. This entire polychrome sculpture with the Shiva and Parvati sculpture as well as the Ravana sculpture is of 186 cm in height and 126 cm in length. The main important deity of Shiva and Parvati in the sculpture has been shown in a minute form with Shiva holding a weapon and Parvati holding a lotus. Two attendants can be seen on both sides with folded hands praying to the deity all seated on Mount Kailash, shone with wood painted in grey tone. The Ravana sculpture is painted in red, yellow and black. He is well ornamented with crowns, earrings, necklace, armbands and anklets. The right hands of Ravana can be seen holding a sword, club, spear, snake, trident, bell and bolt of lightning. In his left hands, he is holding a shield, club, bow, lasso and lotus. The preliminary condition assessment was done at the location of the object. That was an open passage. The object was surrounded with plants, which were watered regularly and had directly and indirectly contributed and accelerated the deterioration process. Wood is a hygroscopic material. It absorbs moisture from the environment through its pores. Due to change in climatic condition, there is expansion and contraction inside the wooden sculpture which cause various problems. This deterioration can also be observed in the sculpture such as there was cracks all over the sculpture. These cracks were of two types, minute and major cracks. The cracks were formed due to various reasons, mainly because of the change in the moisture content. The object was observed to have a slight bend towards the front as the object has undergone some structural change. This is possibly, possibly caused by the proximity of the sculpture to the wall due to which it might have taken moisture from the wall due to capillary effect. Since the wooden pedestal is placed over the stone floor without any separator and the moisture might have transferred from the base of the structure causing the joints to crack and expand. 
since the body of the object expanded there was pain loss from the entire sculpture which increased further as the problem was not observed and curved in curved in time the object was previously restored evident from some of the faulty interventions like addition of nails and fillings done in some areas splitting of wood heavy dust accumulation and extensive flaking of paint layer were some of the problems which were noticed on the sculpture loss of paint layer dislocation of detailings loss of decorative elements were noticed lifting of paint layer and addition of faulty materials probably with the intent of repair was noticed on the sculpture apart from all this there were development of cracks and structural changes and damages noticed on the object the treatment plan was to first consolidate the areas with flaking paint layer which was done as soon as the object was transported from its home to our lab in delhi the figures of shiva parvati and attendants were not properly fixed on the sculpture hence they were separated this assembly the parts were the next step while we were separating the mount kailash part we noticed that the wooden support on which mount kailash was sitting was very badly damaged and was rotting many iron nails were used to keep this piece intact separating the parts were essential for our treatment to be effective shiva parvati and the ravana sculpture after separation another important aspect was re was to remove all faulty repairs for our treatment to be effective all the disassembled part and the sculptures were mechanically cleaned with a soft brush to remove the heavy dust layer loosely bound on the body of the sculpture we didn't attempt an extensive cleaning at this point of time as if we would have gone for an extensive cleaning then the paint layer might have been disturbed hence we decided to consolidate and clean simultaneously as you can see in this image some of the paint layer has lifted from the body of the object hence a liquid adhesive which had the property to reactivate itself with heat was penetrated in the areas where the paint layer was lifting a hot gun was used to regenerate the adhesive once the adhesive was active it was burnished and the paint layer was settled down and it stuck to the body of the sculpture the heads of ravana was detachable from the body of the sculpture the sculptor had used an innovative locking technique to insert the head to the body in this image we are filling up the loss in the nose area which might have happened due to the splitting of wood across his face a heat sensitive filling material consisting of a binder and an inert material was given as putty and was modeled into the shape of his nose luckily ravana had many heads and noses for our reference for the nose solvent cleaning was done to remove the ingrained dust and residues of our fillings for reintegration of paint layer putty filling was done to match the levels of the adjacent area and colors were added all the parts were now ready to be reassembled however the mount kailash was not going to stand steady as the supporting wood has already rotted so a new addition of support supporting wood was given the newly added frame was first treated and was assembled then the mount kailash and the decorative elements were placed after which shiva parvati along with the attendants were seated back the front side of the object after restoration the back side of the object after restoration thank you for your attention